Today we're going to be looking at the best tech gifts of 2022. We're going to look at seven different categories so we can find exactly what you need for your loved one. I'm also going to tell you where is the best place to find these gifts. Most of them are Amazon, but I'll show you that some for some gifts, Amazon is not the best place. My name is Christian Bedoya. If you're new here to the channel, I'm a software engineer based in LA. And every year, all my friends ask me to make this video. So I'm glad I finally have time to put it together this year. So without further ado, let's just get started. So first in the kitchen category is the Meter Plus. It's essentially a smart meat thermometer that connects to your phone. So when I first saw this, I was pretty amazed. I was like, I'm so glad that I live in a time where this exists. So essentially what you do is that you stick this rod into your meat and then you connect it to your phone. And once it's in connected to your phone, you're able to set the time and temperature that you want to be at. And then the app will actually tell you when your meat is ready and when you reach the right temperature. This is a great gift for any of your loved ones who love to cook and are looking for a little way to just make their job a little bit easier. Next up on the list is the Ember Temperature Control Smart Mug. I've talked about this in the previous video and honestly, I've never got tired of talking about it. It is one of my favorite things to give. In fact, I visited an old friend out in Boston and I saw the mug was right on his kitchen counter. And I was like, oh, you're still using that. Like, yes, it's, I use it every day. It's like one of the best gifts you've given me. So I always love talking about this. It's really cool. The best deal I found for this is on bestbuy.com. You can find it on Amazon and on Ember's website, but for some reason they're charging like $130. So this is right at $100, so just at the edge of what this video covers. It's an amazing gift to give and you won't be disappointing anyone. The final item in the kitchen category is the Kosori Electric Gooseneck Kettle. So I personally own this kettle and it's not really like tech, like it doesn't have Bluetooth or it's not smart, but I wanted to include it in this list because I have found it to have be a game changer in the kitchen. You, a lot of people don't know that the temperature of your water can greatly affect the taste of your tea or coffee, whatever you might be drinking. And so this is a really good device to just have around. It has five different temperature settings, including a whole temperature setting, which will actually keep your water warm for up to 60 minutes. So if you are just wanting more coffee or more tea, you can have it right there ready for you to go so that you don't have to boil water again. It's a I, I love it, I use it every day, and for someone who loves tea or coffee, this is a perfect gift. Now we're in the music category, and I wanted to focus on Bluetooth speakers specifically. And my recommendation for everyone is always the JBL Flip 5. This guy is incredibly powerful. It is incredibly light, it has a long lasting battery, it's waterproof, it's honestly one of my favorite pieces of tech. I carry it with me all the time. I bring it to my friend's house and we're able to have a little potty right then and there. I've had the cops called on me just because of this. My neighbors though are also kind of like ridiculous. But anyways, this Bluetooth speaker goes for $70 on Amazon. Now there is another speaker, the newer one, the Flip 6, which is also amazing. But if you're looking to save a couple bucks, this thing is gonna pack a punch. Now, there is one really good deal that Costco is doing that I, you should pay attention to. Costco has a deal for the JBL Charge 4 that's going for about $100. Now, the difference between this is that it's a little bit larger, so it's gonna pack a bigger punch, and it, it also allows you to charge your device while you're listening to music. So it's really good for when you're having a party at the beach or wherever you may be. This is a great gift for your music lover. I personally love the size of this thing. In fact, it's essentially the size of a water bottle. So honestly, I just take it with me everywhere I go and it fits right in my backpack in the water bottle pocket. So you can do whatever you want. I personally choose this. This is amazing. I love it. It's kind of one of my favorite things to carry around. It's ready for you to take anywhere or just use it to annoy your neighbors. So for the phone category, I wanted to focus on portable chargers. So it's easy to just go out and about and forget to charge your phone or you might be out for so long that you need a little bit of charge. So I recommend this charger that I found on Amazon. This guy is the Alonza credit card size portable charger. So what's really cool is that this is the size of a credit card and it has both a USB-C cable and a lightning cable attached to it. So you can use it to charge your iPhone or if you have an Android, or you can have two people charge your phone at the same time. In fact, it can actually charge three devices at the same time because it has this ex external port right here that you can charge a separate device. So for just like $25, you can get a charger on the go. It's honestly a, a nice little stocking stuffer that's gonna please anyone. All right, in the TV and media consumption category, I'm gonna focus on two devices. The first one is the Roku Ultra. So there are several different Roku devices, but the reason I recommend this one is because of the fancy remote that it comes with. It's the, is their new voice remote pro. It's really cool because one, it has a rechargeable battery, which they didn't have before. 
Two, it has hand-free voice, so you can actually say, hey Roku, turn on the TV, or search Netflix for blah, blah, blah. Um, and what's really, really cool is that if you lost your remote, you can actually say, hey Roku, where's my remote? And there's a little speaker on the remote that will start beeping, and it will tell you where the remote is about. This guy goes for about $70. Again, there's others that go for about 30 or so, but I honestly think the remote is what makes this a great product. Now, I would also heavily consider the Google Chromecast. The newest version of the Chromecast is actually really cool. I personally love it because it's so simple to use. I gave this to my parents last year and they love it. Now they are heavy YouTube users, so this was actually perfect for them. Now this allows you to see all your favorite services like Netflix, Hulu, and all the, all the above, just like the Roku can. But if you're a heavy YouTube user like me, this is kind of like amazing. I'm also in love with just the simplicity of the remote. It has just like a couple buttons and sometimes that's all you need. Plus my favorite aspect is the voice control of it. So just like the Roku remote, you can use it, you can use your voice to find movies or find whatever. But because it's a Google device, you can it actually has Google's built-in assistant in there, which means you can use it to ask what is the weather or how's traffic like going downtown or what's the tallest mountain in the world. That adds a lot more value to what your TV can do. So this device is perfect if your loved one primarily watches YouTube or uses YouTube music and wants the extra feature of having a Google Home Assistant. Otherwise, the Roku is a, is a great choice for your typical streaming services, along with being able to watch free channels. So now we're gonna be covering the topic of organization. So again, these are not things that have like a built-in chip in them, but if you're like me, you have tons of wires and different cables of different things, and you want it all to be in one compact place. One of my favorite companies that works on these type of things is Air. I am a big fan of Air. They have a lot of really cool minimalistic designs. This is their Techfolia 13, so this is a really great laptop case. This has a bunch of great storage compartments, not just for the laptop, but for your cables, uh, pens, pencils, extra storage devices. It's honestly really cool. Now you might be thinking, Christian, that's $75 for a laptop briefcase. Is that really worth it? Like, I understand it's a lot, but let me tell you, all their products are amazing. This is the travel pack, which is outside of the category of this video. It's about like $200 or so. All their products are made with this like ballistic nylon that's just so durable and has really withstood the test of time. And their zippers, oh, they're just so satisfying to use. Like, like just listen to this. They're just, oh, I could just do this all day, but we don't have time for that. So they also have a really cool slim pouch that can be used as another type of organizer. It's smaller, it's a little cheaper. And I actually gave this to a friend last year and he loves it. He uses it every day. Perfect for anyone who travels a lot or is just looking for a way to kind of organize all their tech stuff. Now let's talk about smart home devices. Nice little stocking stuff for to give is to give someone a smart plug. You can never have too many of these and they're and they're compatible with both Alexa and Google Home Assistant. I have both of them. Once you link these up to your Alexa or Google Home app, it doesn't really matter for the app, so either of these is fine. These are really cool little devices and anyone's gonna benefit from them. Let's talk about Alexa versus Google Home. I have always gone back and forth on this. It really depends on your case scenario. But I think usually I find that the Echo Home devices are a little bit better. I have an Echo Show in my kitchen and a Google Home in my living room. I am a big heavy YouTube user, so I use I use the Google Home for that. But I will say the Echo devices have a much better speakers and they're usually at a better price point. I'd say if you don't have either, I'd say the best one to get is the Amazon Echo Show 8. It's a nicely priced device. It's big, it has a powerful sound. You can watch all your favorite streaming services on there as well. It doesn't include YouTube though as a native app, but you could launch YouTube on the native web browser, which is not really great. But everything else is, is amazing. Amazon has a couple different other ones, like the Echo Show 10, but that one's just a little bit too bulky. I think this one's just the perfect size. Now, with this in mind, I will say though that Costco is having an amazing deal on the Google Home Nest. I almost couldn't believe when I saw this. This is the Google Home Nest, a two pack of them going for $80. Like this is an incredible deal. I already have a few of these, but I kind of want to get more and I'm going to try to stop myself from doing so. But again, this is such a good deal that I just really had to show it. And this is really good if you're a heavy YouTube user or already have other Google Home devices that you wanna be able to connect to. They're both great deals and great devices. You can't go wrong with either of them. This bonus category, I'm gonna be talking about two Apple accessories that all your friends who you have Apple products will really appreciate. The first one is an Apple AirTag. They're like an odd price that like, I wouldn't get it for myself, but it's not too expensive to just give it to someone. 
and it's something that anyone could really use more of. They're pretty cool. Basically, if you don't know about them, you can actually just attach them to anything and as a way, and then you can use your phone to find where that thing is. All your Apple friends will love it if you give them one. So the final thing that we're gonna look at is the Apple MagSafe charger. This is essentially a wireless charger that kind of like snaps on your phone. Again, it's in that price range that I wouldn't necessarily get for myself, but it makes a really good gift that's not super expensive. And it's really satisfying just to like click your phone onto it. So there you have it. You have all my favorite tech gifts for the year. If you really like what you saw, please like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. And if you want to see more of my stuff, click here to see my latest video. Until then, happy holidays, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.